when the alumni of the Oxford and Cambridge universities resident in Ghana called on former president John Ejikum Kufo. He entreated them to leverage on their network to transform society. And alumni himself, the former president, also encouraged the group members to deploy servant leadership in their various capacities and be solution-centered to better the lot of the less privileged the Oxford and Cambridge Society of Ghana conferred on him the patron of its 10th anniversary celebration to be held in November this year. A report by Sarah Fury. The Oxford and Cambridge Society of Ghana is mainly made up of the alumni of the Oxford and Cambridge Universities, residents in Ghana and non-resident alumni who are Ghanaians. It was set up for the alumni to network among themselves and promote worthy social causes in the Ghanaian community. It is a society that organizes alumni events, including education and community support events, speaking events, fundraising, and networking events in Ghana. Former President John Ejekum Kufo, Mr. Chachu Chikata, Professor George Hagan, Professor Ekuya Kwenye here, Professor Ayensu, Mr. Fui Chikata, Mr. Miguel Ribeiro, Mr. George Gardner, Professor Kwamna Hoy, Mr. Elikem Kwenyehia, and Dr. Adokufo are a few mentioned products of the Oxford and Cambridge universities. Although there have been such alumni groups in the past, the Oxford and Cambridge Society of Ghana formally renewed the group in November 2013. Ten years on, they are still formidable. Your Excellency, connection is why this society is established and why we are here today. The ability to feel connected for mutual benefit and for the benefit of others is central to our mission. Second, this call is to officially inform you that later in the year, the launch of the 10th anniversary will be marked with a fundraising gala dinner to support our social, welfare, and community impact programs. Indeed, paraphrasing Isaac Newton's words, we are very happy to climb on the shoulders of our giants, our older Oxbridge alumni, to enable us to see far. Former President John Ejikum Kufo lauded the efforts of the society and tagged them to leverage on their network for the general good of society. The world is moving so fast on networking, whether it's technology, whether it's finance, whether it's uh, geopolitics, whatever, networking is very important. Uh, it could have its negative aspects, but I believe the positives might well outweigh the negatives. So truly, trying to bring uh, citizens of Ghana who've had the uh, opportunity to be exposed in those uh, two very famous global universities, getting them to network to serve our country and also to be of relevance and uh, the forward march of uh, humanity anywhere and everywhere is an ambition that must be supported and I appreciate you very much. He recalled some fond memories of 1961 to 1964 when he worked the Oxford University campus. My times too, there wasn't anything like central heating at Oxford. So in my college, uh, I stayed in college my first year, I had a, a bedroom and a sitting room. Uh, in summer, beautiful, but in the winter without central heating, you can imagine. I heard the knock, I opened the door and it was the rector himself bringing pillows and uh, uh, the blanket. I, I nearly fainted when I opened the door and saw the director carrying this load and said, I thought you might need these things against the cold. That's something that has stayed with me till now. The alumni conferred on the former president the patron of the 10th anniversary celebration of the Oxford and Cambridge Society of Ghana. Sarah for GBC News, Pediasse. And so at his pediatric residence, former President John Ajekun Kufo says universities across the country should not only nurture students simply for grades, but also challenge them to impart knowledge about servant leadership. 
He further explains that the students should be motivated to contribute meaningfully to inclusive society resolution. The former president made these comments when the Oxford Cambridge Society of Ghana paid a courtesy call on him. They are everything the arts, sciences, politics, the constitutionality of the land. You, you can't talk about any of these things without referring to Oxford and Cambridge. I said they produced, even in, within the past, uh, make it decade, mention any of the uh, prime ministers of Britain, including the current one, Sunak, Oxford man, uh, trust the lady who was prime minister for, is it two months or whatever? Oxford. Boris Johnson, Oxford. Cameron, Oxford. Uh, Tony Blair, Oxford. Theresa May, Oxford. Margaret Thatcher, Oxford and Cambridge. All the way back. Uh, so you understand immediately what the universities have done for uh, their nation. That's what our universities should seek to do. And again, when you look at Legon, the first principal, BAM, you see the BAM library, I think it was from Cambridge. Professor Kwapon, the first Ghanaian to have been vice chancellor, Cambridge man. So uh, I hope our universities would accept that they are there not only to uh, nurture students academically, not only for academics, but also for social thinking and engagement. I talked of servant leadership. Because uh, when you look at our uh, uh, study demography of Ghana, you see that any youth that gets a chance to enter a, a campus, I'm not even talking of just the state campuses like Legon, Tech, Cape Coast, and UDS. Any university, such a youth is privileged because for every one of you, you might find over 100,000 of your generation, perhaps uh, wallowing away in some rural parts, uh, afflicted with unemployment, poverty, all the negatives. So if you would see our society this way and you get a chance on campus, you should feel prepared to come out to help lift 